um, from one of the members that rates himself so highly and um, should take more he should take more time getting his facts right than his parents right and then he might actually uh, be in order but what he said was in order and ready to go in order and ready to go that sums up the labor party and when it came to transport in order and ready to go they had not actually funded it they had all these plans saying we're going to build these projects they never allocated any money for it and they never did it and so he is quite right when he says in order and ready to go because that is unfunded it is just a high in the sky promise that that member and his his party made and i remember that when in the first term that I was in here, we went to Long Swamp, that bit of road from Auckland to, into Hamilton, that major bit of construction there, not, and Annette Kingley was there cutting the ribbon, cutting the ribbon, saying what a great Labour government that was that was going to build that, that had built that road when it was actually started under the national government in 1999. Those projects were started under national, they were completed by the previous government, but they were started by us. And that member is completely incorrect in the way he represented the facts of the past generation of um, infrastructure build in this country. And if you ever look at the future of infrastructure, the future of infrastructure is the State Highway net $10.7 billion in the next 10 years from this government. $10.7 billion from this government. The National Grid, $3.3 billion over the next five years. $3.3 billion over the next five years. Urban broadband, another $1.5 billion over the next 10 years. New schools and buildings, $2.7 billion allocated over the next five years. We've given a total budget capital spending of $7.5 billion over five years. The Labor Party is completely incorrect when they say we're not investing in infrastructure. We have a plan, we have delivered on a plan, and it's not in order and ready to go. It is hitting the road now, it is being delivered, the money has been allocated, and people are seeing the delivery of those services. As David Carter said, Southern Motorway in, in that great city of Christchurch. You see the great news about what's happening in Tauranga. You see the Waikato Expressway. You see completion of the uh, ring route in Auckland. You see a huge investment in rail that wasn't made by the previous government that pretends it's the supporters of rail, but when it actually had the chance, wasn't there, didn't do anything for rail, and now it's up to us to do that, to build a rail network in that city. So the Labour Party is a party that's in order and ready to go contrary to all public opinion and reports that we've had in the last week. But that's all they've got. They are all rhetoric. They've got no delivery. And this bill is part of giving the delivery for our party and to this country through infrastructure. And we support it through this House, Mr Chairman.